Today's topic is Severs disease. Severs disease is a painful bone disorder that results from inflammation or swelling of the growth plate in the heel. A growth plate, also known as an epiphyseal plate, is an area at the end of a developing bone where cartilage cells change over time into bone cells. It lengthens, thickens, and changes shape during puberty in order to form the bones we have as adults. Severs disease is caused by repeated stress to the heel area, but it isn't due to any specific injury or type of activity. It's just something that happens during adolescence as bones grow and strengthen themselves. Symptoms The symptoms of Severs disease are often mistaken for Achilles tendonitis, as it causes redness and swelling around the heel in one or two legs, pain in the back and bottom of the heel that increases with running, jumping, and weight-bearing, tenderness around the heel, which hurts when pressed on. Sometimes, Severs disease can also cause a limp with walking or running. Treatment A good thing with Severs disease is that it doesn't cause long-term complications, and the treatment most of the times involves taking a rest and avoiding intense activities that put pressure on the affected heel until the pain is gone. Icing the area to reduce inflammation and swelling is always helpful, and sometimes the doctor will prescribe anti-inflammatory drugs to reduce the pain if it is severe. After a while, the child may need to do some physical therapy exercises to stretch and strengthen the muscles around the leg area. Prevention Severs disease doesn't have any long-term complications, as it doesn't reoccur once the child grows up and the growth plate has turned completely into bone. But there are some things to consider that can help prevent your child from developing Severs disease. First, the child should avoid running a lot on hard surfaces. Even if the exercise is not on hard surfaces, the child should not overtrain without taking enough rest periods. Also, it's very important to wear supportive sports with good heel support. Another thing you should consider is the weight of the child as it is one of the most common risk factors for developing Severs disease. The more weight you carry, the more stress you put on your heels, and the higher the chances of developing Severs disease. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.